Trisha Paytas married the man of her dreams, but people are already pointing out red flags from her wedding. This is so messy. But that wedding venue though, beautiful. Never in Trisha's life did she think she would see the day that she got married. So boy were fans shocked when they saw Moses pop down on one knee and propose whilst they were having a photo shoot. And I just want to say that despite Trisha getting cancelled, she looked absolutely beautiful at her wedding. But there's no denying that there's a massive lack of chemistry between Trisha and Moses, and fans have constantly pointed this out leading up to their wedding. But nothing was going to stop Trisha from having that fairy tale wedding that she'd always dreamed of. And to Trisha's defence, not many people could top that kind of a wedding. Oh wait, hold on a second. It kind of looks familiar to Selling Sunset star Christina Quinn's wedding. Like the old saying goes, beauty is only skin deep. So let's dive deeper into this wedding caught on the Instagram stories of her fellow influencer pals that she invited. So who was on the guest list? Of course there were a bunch of fillers like Trisha's number one fan had exposed, but there were also some really big names attending. I'm honestly shook. Gigi Gorgeous attended and she looked amazing. In fact, she almost outdid the bride. Her reception dress was more of a wedding dress than Trisha's, but that was the aesthetic Trisha was going for. Someone had said, when you have a wedding at six and bowling at seven. While everyone was hired to attend the wedding, one person that couldn't even get in the door and deleted all their TikToks leading up to the wedding was Trisha's number one fan, Dakota Paytas. But she came back to social media the day after Trisha's wedding and exposed this. And basically everything was a lie. I'm an actress. I just manipulated them, scared them, and got them paranoid because they're a paranoid person so that they would spend more money on security at their wedding and hopefully it would like cause anxiety on their wedding when it's supposed to be a stress-free day. I wanted to cause havoc and anxiety. Needless to say, fans of Dakota were very impressed by her antics. This is so iconic. I can't even put it into words. This is the push she needed and deserved. It was just for fun. I was just having fun. I honestly was waiting for you to confirm that it was all lies. Lol. I didn't believe any of it, but I have got to give you props for the effort. Trisha paid still hasn't responded to her number one fan trolling her on her wedding day. And that brings us to our next topic, the big day. People are already calling out the red flags from Trisha's wedding. She tried to keep her wedding day and venue as private as possible in hopes that no one would crash the wedding. She ended up having her wedding at Four Seasons Hotel in Westlake Village. Now there was a lot of drama leading up to this wedding. Moses got called out by his ex-girlfriend for allegedly stabbing her and Trisha quickly came to his defence and called her a liar causing her to get cancelled. Ethan and Hela didn't defend Trisha or Moses online at the time which caused Trisha to have a massive mental breakdown on social media. It was no surprise that Ethan and Hela would not be attending Hela's brother's wedding after that catastrophe. Leading up to their wedding there was huge speculation online as to who would be attending the wedding from Moses' side of the family. A couple of days ago, Ethan subtly exposed on his podcast that Hela's mum was in town for the wedding, and of course, he shaded Trisha and Moses in the process. Hela's mom's in town? <laughs> I forget why. <laughs> I'm not allowed to- Since the wedding, Ethan went live with a podcast called The Wedding, and the thumbnail was a silhouette of Trisha and Moses, with Trisha in her black wedding dress. Now we all know the tea was going to be hot, but Ethan barely said anything about Trisha and Moses. Apparently he's not allowed to go there. It's an out of bounds topic, according to Hela. After teasing his topic of the day, Hela called Ethan and told him to not discuss Trisha and Moses at all, because it would probably cause a lot of dramas in the family. I don't know. Hela called me all panic saying, don't talk about the wedding. I don't know what her hang up is with this wedding. I mean, it's 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 a beautiful thing what these two did. 
Moses's ex-girlfriend has in fact spoken out about the wedding, claiming that she's been receiving hurtful messages by Trisha's fans. Daphne had said, when you are gets married and people want to send you hate. And she had received countless messages from an account that turned out to be a teenage fan of Trisha's saying, Homewrecker. Um, what the heck? Now, moving on from this, Trisha had already explained prior to her wedding that she would just be winging her vows on the day. And people are like, how can you do that after spending over a hundred grand on this wedding? I mean, she put more time and thought into her wedding gown and the whole aesthetic of the wedding than spending time thinking about the vows. And some people consider the vows the most important part of a wedding. It's a promise to be partner forever. But no, Moses winged it when it came to the vows as well. And fans were totally cringing over this part of the wedding. When I first met you, you talked about water and spirituality. I was like, oh gosh, you're going to be here to me, but... A former fan of Trisha's boldly stated, those tears are the tears of not getting to marry Jason. And it turns out that Jason Nash allegedly tried to crash the wedding. And the look on Trisha's face when she was told this was the look of sheer terror. Oh, like they should, should let him in. When, yeah, they're not. In the front door? Now, honestly, I don't know if they were actually referring to Jason Nash or another Jason. There was a lot of speculation, and here's what people were saying. I didn't think it was Jason Nash. Of course he wasn't invited. Lol. They asked who's Jason, but so weird they included this part in their vid, like intentionally trying to get people talking. The look of panic on her face. I'm sure she'd love if her Jason came bursting through those doors. Did they leave? Legally get married? Jason wouldn't waste his time. He wants nothing to do with her. Now Moses and his money investment profited off their wedding very hard. Not only did Trisha wear her Fashion Nova sponsorship dress to her wedding reception or pre-wedding look, she also filmed a mukbang with her husband the night of their wedding. I'm like married. That's scary. I am not even wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh. You know how I do when we first lived together? I was like, oh my god. Well, then this video, people were saying that she basically confessed that she regretted getting married. Fans had a lot to say about Trisha being scared that she was married. People don't say we are married, that's so scary. Or say, I was in a fever dream. They say, OMG, we are married. This is so amazing. Did we just get what we dreamt of? That's suspicious. That's weird. Scary because you regret it. Why would it be scary if you want to commit to be with that person for the rest of your life? Life. She's scared, but Moses is not. Not his first rodeo. Moses has the weirdest facial expressions. Trisha's talking about feeling scared after the wedding, and Moses is like... Trisha and Moses went on their live stream too shortly after getting married, where they answered questions from their fans about their married life. Trisha nervously responded and hesitated when someone asked her this. Gabby says, congrats. What was different about this relationship versus past relationships that made you know it was right? I mean, you liked me, so <laughs> I was like, this is, this is good. This is a good idea. I mean, there's no denying Trisha's wedding was beautiful. She looked gorgeous. It was her life's purpose to have a wedding, and she accomplished just that. But did she do it with the right person? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.